What's up guys, the Hackspot here, and today we've got some important jailbreak news to discuss for iOS 11.2 and above. Some really big news that I know you guys will be very excited to hear. Alright, now before I get started here, I want to start off by saying that this jailbreak update video is for iOS 11.2 and above. If you are on iOS 11.0, through 11.1.2, then why are you even here watching this video? Where have you been? A jailbreak has been released for iOS 11.0 through 11.1.2. Of course, Cydia is not packaged within it right now, so you have to do without Cydia and install tweaks manually. But I did make a video on how to jailbreak iOS 11 through 11.1.2 in the past. It's been a while now. And also install tweaks manually and also themes. And there's another video now. <laughs> So yeah, if you're on iOS 11.0 through 11.1.2, stay there. You already have a jailbreak. Do not update. Soon, Cydia will be updated for iOS 11. And boom, then you'll have Cydia and you'll be able to install your tweaks much easier. But again, this update video is for iOS 11.2 and above, which currently don't have a jailbreak. Just thought I had to throw that out there because in my last update video, so many people were asking if they should update from 11.1.2. I'm like, no, no, do not do that. This is only an update for 11.2 and above. Whew, okay, so now that we got that out of the way, holy crap, I'm sweating. I'm just gonna pull my sleeves up. <laughs> I'm actually sweating right now. Okay, but anyways, here is a big news. So if I go into my Twitter, Zimperium, they have posted this right here, and they basically have found another little loophole in iOS. I should probably say vulnerability, that's a better word. But anyways, here you guys can see the vulnerabilities not only affect iOS, but also the Watch OS, which is the Apple Watch, and TVOS, Apple TV, even more interesting and important. So that's pretty cool. We might see a new jailbreak for those too. You guys can jailbreak your Apple TV if you didn't know that. And imagine getting Cydia on your Apple Watch. How cool would that be? All right, so then they posted this. New crucial vulnerabilities in Apple's Bluetooth daemon, and it links to their blog post. So this is what really is pretty cool. So here's a glorious blog, and if you go to scroll down again over here, it says, we found two crucial vulnerabilities in Bluetooth D daemons on iOS, webOS, and tvOS as part of core Bluetooth. The first vulnerability is memory corruption in Bluetooth. The other is execution of arbitrary code of different crucial daemons. So arbitrary code can be run and that is super cool. And there's even more vulnerabilities that they discovered and this could potentially lead to a jailbreak and more exploits being discovered, like a bigger exploit. Based on this Reddit post right here, a developer commented that based on his knowledge, this only gives root access. It is not a kernel exploit. Oh, and by the way, in my last video, sorry, uh... That turns out it was just a bug and many people were just calling in exploits, even like big articles and stuff like that. But regardless, good thing I posted that video and told you guys to downgrade because that is still very, very important, which I'll talk about in a second. So anyways, right now this gives root access essentially, or that is what this developer says. But anyways, that will enable some really cool jailbreak apps to be run like Houdini, which allows you to basically completely theme your device, like real customization and also Torngat. And this will eventually lead to a full jailbreak. I personally believe bigger exploits will be discovered and more vulnerabilities using this. Keen Lab and all these other people who like find these exploits and vulnerabilities are really the backbone of what creates essentially a jailbreak. Of course, other developers actually put it together to make it functional, but the exploits are a vital part of the jailbreak, of course. So this is great news. Now, going back to the blog post over here, iOS 11.2.5 patches this vulnerability so if you are in 11.2.5 you might have a harder chance of getting a jailbreak but anyways this is imperium vulnerability works on iOS 11.2.1 and iOS 11.2.2. So if we did downgrade to one of those firmwares, in my video I said to downgrade to 11.2.1 just to be safe. But anyways, if you did downgrade to iOS 11.2.1 or 11.2.2, then you are good to go. You don't have to worry about anything and you might be seeing a jailbreak here in the coming future. Oh boy, this is exciting. So guys, if you are on iOS 11.2.1, or 11.2.2 and are looking for a future jailbreak, stay there. Because again, 11.2.5 does patch the vulnerability, making it useless. So you guys can see in their security update right here that they basically patched it, they gave credits. And so yeah, here it is, the core Bluetooth, it runs arbitrary code. And that's exactly what you want for a jailbreak and this blocks it. So 
Curse iOS 11.2.5, of course it is a lot more stable, and I do want that for iOS 11, so if you don't care about jailbreaking, of course, go ahead and update. Your device will run a lot smoother, but if you do want to jailbreak, do not update to 11.2.5 or above. Now, in the past, I also did talk about the Alibaba jailbreak. So basically, researchers found a vulnerability on 11.2.1 and were able to basically jailbreak their devices on that firmware. And you guys can see Cydia on the iPhone 10 right there. And that is on 11.2.1. But anyways, Alibaba did say that they're not going to release it. So that is very unfortunate. But hopefully, someone else like finds that vulnerability. And again, there are so many, again, to be found in 11.2.1. 2.1 seems like but yeah so with that information given i think 11.2.1 and 11.2.2 are very promising in terms of getting a jailbreak and i can't wait to see what can be achieved with these vulnerabilities and guys now for the bad news there's some bad news here too so if you didn't watch my previous jailbreak update video you might not have downgraded back to 11.2.1 or 11.2.2 and so now you might be stuck on 11.2.5 or ios 11.3 if you updated so unfortunately just today just a few hours ago or a couple hours not even that much but anyways, if you go to IPSW.me, click on any device, and now let's say, let's do this one. You guys could see that iOS 11.2.2 and iOS 11.2.1 are no longer being signed. So that is unfortunate. So you can only downgrade to 11.2.5 for on 11.3 beta. And again, 11.2.5 basically patches and blocks the vulnerabilities that were recently found by Zimperia. That's basically what iOS 11.2.5 was all about. It was about security and improving bug fixes. So again, guys, do not update to 11.2.5 or 11.3 if you do want to jailbreak. And yeah, that's basically a round of this video. Hope you guys enjoy this update. And I'm super excited to see a new jailbreak. I really want to be able to jailbreak this iPhone 10. Anyways, get subscribed to stay updated and informed about the jailbreak and any news regarding it. Peace out. <laughs>